Okay, here is my breakfast this morning. I made a, um, <clears throat> it's a sourdough. There's just a, I just had a half a loaf of sourdough. So you can see, where is my finger? Why can't I ever get it in the camera? You can see a few pieces of bread, but then there's apple and eggs. Um, it's a cinnamon apple sourdough casserole. So I put all the ingredients in my tracker and it comes out to three points for a piece. And then I put two points of um, maple syrup on. So that is my five point breakfast this morning. Something different. Good morning. It's me again from my car. I am just leaving Walmart. That's uh, a different one than what I normally go to. This is the East Side Walmart. Um, it's not the Ghetto Mart. It's one in the county. But there's uh, the one bank that I needed to go to today um, is right over here. So I went there and then I had to go, I forgot milk. So I had to run in and get milk just two gallons so it's of course it's all the way in the back of the store so it's good get some extra steps in so I got that now I have two more bank drive throughs to go through I have to go to the post office and I have to hit a dollar store not for what you think um, although I will look but I um to my son for school they're doing a lent service project for um this one organization in town that serves under um serves uh i don't know what the word is families in need so they are collecting roman's class is collecting toothbrushes and toothpaste so i have i actually have toothbrushes at home because when we go to the dentist every time we get a new toothbrush, but we use electric toothbrushes. And so every six months when we go to the dentist, I change the heads on our electric toothbrush. And I have travel toothbrushes for us I, um, that I set aside, you know, if we, if, we, if we travel. So I don't, I had like five toothbrushes still in the package or Oral-B, they're really nice. And I was just gonna have my husband um, take him down to the school because they have a bin that they collect stuff for families in need too. And I said, so I was just about to give them to him and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So um, I have five of them. So I wanna pick up five tubes of toothpaste and um, that's what I need there. So I'm gonna do that at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go to the one out here. The one out here, which is in the East County, is like the best one in our whole area. It's the dirtiest. It is so filthy, um, like the floors, the trash cans outside are always overflowing and stink to the high heavens. So, but they have the most stuff and the most different things. And so I'm gonna hit that up, but I have to get these two bank drive throughs next. And then that'll be it. I can head it back on home. I think it's like 10.30, 10 to 11. So, okay, so my breakfast. I want to tell you about my breakfast. I made something different today. It is an, it's a sourdough apple casserole, egg casserole. It's from Farmhouse on Boone, but I did not do I did it differently it, hers has raisins in it she puts butter on the top I didn't do any of that uh, and I half the recipe because I only had a couple pieces of the sourdough bread chopped it up into like one inch cubes put it in the bottom of my pan I think I used five eggs I used one cup of milk and cinnamon vanilla and one tablespoon of honey mixed it all up put that I chopped chunked chopped up two apples put that on top poured the meg oh my gosh I cannot talk poured the egg mixture over it 
and let it sit all night and then I put it in the oven this morning. Now it says it'll cook in a half hour. It took an hour. So my poor son, <laughs> he had a yogurt for breakfast. And then I said, we well, can have this at snack. So he ate it at snack and he loved it. And then, um, so I put out all the ingredients into my recipe builder and it came out three piece or three points because you get six pieces. So I didn't think that was bad. It was a big piece. And then, um, what else did I do? Hang on, I'm in the bank drive through. Oh, I put two points of syrup on it. So it was a five point breakfast. So I didn't think that was too bad. Okay, so I wanted to tell you, I want to show you what I got at Dollar Tree. So let me do this first. I don't know why I started my video. Okay. I got the toothpaste and then of course I decided we have adult toothbrushes at home so I'm like oh, I have to get some kids so I grabbed a couple kids toothbrushes and a couple um, tubes of kids toothpaste but then they have these <laughs> they're in the shape of a cross to do like you know a wreath or well you know it's not a wreath but <laughs> So I got two of them. I might make do one for my mom or something for Easter since it's been almost a year since we've actually seen her. And I mean, I talk to her all the time, but we don't get to see her because of this whole pandemic. But I love those. Okay. I hate when people are sitting in their car with their reverse lights on. Makes me so nervous. So I went to the banks, got everything done, stopped at this Dollar Tree. They didn't, I'm disappointed with this one. They didn't have like hardly anything. Um, nothing Easter wise, really, nothing new craft wise, same old stuff. So um, I didn't, all, all they had were those cross, cross <laughs> frames. To make something out of so that's all I got for me and then I got my toothpaste and my toothbrushes for kids it was so uh, there was like six of us in line you think they would have called somebody else up to cashier out nope I probably stood in line for about 15 minutes I could tell the lady in front of me was really annoyed <laughs> I wasn't really annoyed I didn't care but <laughs> she was not very happy Okay, so now I'm going to just run by the post office and drop off my mail and go home for the day. It's my shoes are squeaking on my break. It's 11:30 now, so I'm gonna make something different for lunch. I don't know if I told you that. Not gonna have my salad today. I had I had my salad yesterday, and after as I was eating, I'm like. Mm not feeling this today but I ate it but I'm going to try something different I'm gonna make pizza bombs I've seen them all over TikTok and um, this one girl I follow on YouTube she made them for Super Bowl um, Sunday night and they, they're I'm gonna use the fat the low fat you use a cheese stick the one point cheese stick you cut it in half or even in third probably in thirds and um, I'm itch on my back I can't get it and um, she just wrapped them in like biscuit dough and I have the mini biscuits and she cut the dough in half though and stuff and then she put a couple pieces of pepperoni in it and just baked it and then just dipped it in, in some pizza sauce so that kind of sounds good today I don't know why I just don't feel like my salad I'm just not feeling it at all today I don't know why because it's snowing there's no snow no rain no no precipitation at all in our forecast today it was supposed to be sunny I even double checked on the weather channel it's supposed to be sunny it's snowing not a lot but enough that some areas are turning white so I don't know if that just has me kind of bummed out because I'm I don't know I just want it to be nice weather now and I will be honest with you, I've never been like this. I am usually so into winter and let it be winter and let it be spring. And now I'm just like, let it just be nice. 
I don't know why. I'm, I'm going to say because we're, you know, life is so different. But last year was our first summer off ever. I mean, my husband and I toured. You heard that right. We toured the United States every summer for 12 years <laughs> with a group of about 100 other people sometimes more than 100 we uh, we we my husband directed was the director of our um, we had a drum and bugle corps so we had there's between the kids and staff and stuff there's usually around 100 sometimes up to 120 people we own our own buses still have them we have a school bus that we converted into a kitchen and I don't think I've ever shown you guys <laughs> That's what I drove. So yes, I drive school bus. And um, and then I used to help with the cooking and the sewing because, you know, we have uniforms and all that stuff. We had the whole nine yards. We had it all. We, we did everything. We have an equipment truck. We had a trailer. We have a four-wheeler. And um, we sold off the trailer and the four-wheeler when... So we, we did this for 12 years. We we're going on our 13th year. And that's when your the video games and computers start coming in hot and heavy. And kids in our area just start getting lazy and just, you know, we didn't have many kids join the core that year. And um, it was 2006. And it was like that February, we, uh, we decided to pull the plug and just be done. We just didn't get the kids that year. And, you know, we were married, by now we were married like seven years. Yeah, seven years. And um, I don't know, we just, so we, we decided to quit doing it. It just, it was getting to be a lot. I mean, travel, we just, we traveled and traveled and traveled. We, I've, I've been many, many places across the United States. That's why now I just don't feel like traveling. But so we pulled the plug in February of that year. We were done. Um, and it just, it turned out to be like a really bad year for us. We, in, I think it was either March or April, my mom started having, um, I was trying to see if that one train is in town. Um, my mom started having heart problems and it ended up Holy Week of that year. 2006 she was in the hospital all week and trying to figure out what's going on with her and everything else and ends up she had she had AFib or she still does and I mean they they shocked her two different times to try and get her heart back into rhythm nothing would work found out she's always had a heart murmur well it's caused by a valve that's leaking so she's had this leaky valve since birth basically and you know, back then they didn't really do anything about a heart murmur. She could now have surgery and stuff, but she's too afraid. So she was in the hospital for a week. So I was running with her. That was in April. In July, July 3rd to be exact, my husband, I get a phone call. And my husband says, I'm in the emergency room. I fell off a ladder at work. So... Um, the security guy took him to the emergency room and I'm like, okay. I said, well, do you want me to come? I mean, you know, and he's like, no, I think I'm all right. He's like, he's sitting here with me. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I will be right there. So I went down there and there he's sitting, his arms all wrapped up with all this ice. And I'm like, what happened? And he said he went to step down on the ladder and it just, he lost balance and it went out from under him. And he fell pretty hard and pretty far down. Um, so he ended up with a broken wrist. So I said, let me see it. <laughs> he took the ice off. I am not kidding you. He held his hand up and it looked like he, it looked like this way. It looked like he had a pop can in his hand, in his wrist. It was so swollen. And I'm like, oh my God, it looks like you have a pop can in there. <laughs> it was just sticking way out. 
He's like, yeah, I think I really hurt myself this time. I'm like, oh my gosh. Now my husband has never broken a bone, never been in the hospital. So they basically did x-rays and they're like, you have to see an orthopedic surgeon. So they just gave him ice, wrapped it. And I remember her, he couldn't get in to see the surgeon until the morning of the 4th of July. I had to take him back down the hospital. And then my sister always had these big July 4th parties and he was so miserable sitting at this party. And I'm like, well, let's go. He's like, no, cause I'll just be miserable sitting at home. He had surgery, I believe it was either the 7th or the 9th. And he had screws and pins and all kinds of stuff put in. And so he had this like uh, the old fashioned plaster cast that came out around all the pins and stuff he had in there. And, um, so he started saying to me, and mind you, I'm still taking care of my mom because she's still, we're still new with the whole heart thing. And, you know, so I've been, I've been going to her house and taking care of stuff. So now I have to do everything in our house. I have to cut the grass. I have to weed whack, which I love cutting the grass. I hate weed whacking, but I had, so I had to do it all. I had to do everything now. And I'm like, okay. So I did. I didn't care. You know, you do what you do for the people you love. And um, I remember my husband was like, next year is your year. Next year is your year. Because he knew I was really stressed about my mom and stuff. And um, so in uh, so October 1st, 2006, I get a phone call from my one sister. We were in church and um, I saw she was calling me and I'm like, okay. It, it, and back then the old cell phone, you know, you couldn't just answer or whatever. It wasn't those kind of phones yet. And so I just ignored it. Cause I'm like, I can't answer in church and I can't like, you couldn't like send a message. So I got out, I, we got out of church. I called her and she's like, your mother fell. <laughs> when we talk to each other about our, my mom, we always call them your mother. <laughs> she's like, your mother fell. And, um, so I'm like, oh my gosh. So we left from church, ran up to my mom's house. My, a couple of my sisters were there and stuff. And um, she's sitting there and we're like, we've we got to get you into the emergency room. So the only thing she could get into was like our van. So we moved the seat in the back and all she did was just sit on the floor. She couldn't even like get up into the seat. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So we get her to the emergency room and she broke her leg right under the kneecap, broke the leg totally off of everything. So she's got to come back. They sent her home. So of course she couldn't, um, she couldn't go home. And so it ended, my, my other sister's like, I'll take her because um, they don't have steps to get into their house. And I, I do have a couple. And she's like, well, I'll take her. She, they had a real nice, like, lazy boy chair and stuff that she could um, sit in. They could put the leg up and everything. So they're like, just ice it down and blah, blah, blah. You'll have to come back tomorrow when the orthopedic surgeon's in. Well, then we're like, as, as the sun, it was a Sunday. As the day went on, she got worse and worse. And... Um, she had to go to the bathroom. We could not get her up to go to the bathroom. It was terrible. It was so horrible. We just, we, we all tried to get her. We couldn't get her. And so I'm like, I said to my sister, how the hell are we getting her to, back to the hospital? If we can't even get her to the bathroom, which is five feet away. So my mom sat in that chair all night. So we called, um, like the non-emergency emergency care. So they sent an ambulance to come get her that morning. They sent three ambulances showed up. We're like, oh my God. So we got my mom in, they got her into the hospital and all she said to the woman was, I need to go to the bathroom. It has been over 24 hours since I have used a bathroom and I need to go. So they just gave her a bedpan. She just had to pee, but they gave her a bedpan and so she finally was able to go to the bathroom. So she was in the hospital for a week. And um, because she was on blood thinners and stuff, so they had to get that to the right, whatever you call it. So they did that. So she finally had her surgery. 
She too had screws and pins and everything else put in her leg. No cast, weirdest thing. So we're all trying to figure out what are we doing with her? Well, because I don't work, guess who got her? <laughs> so I ran out, I had to buy, I'm like, I have to buy a bed, change my whole, I took furniture out of my living room. We took stuff upstairs. We put some stuff in our, at the time, remember we don't have Roman yet. So in Roman's bedroom, I stuck furniture in there. So I go and get this like, um, it was like this couch thing that you pulled it out and it, it pulled out to a bed. Not, not the kind that pulls out a mattress. It, you slid it up to sit on it or you slid it flat. So she's coming to live at my house now. So I got her in the living room living and um, we had a wheelchair. I had to get a shower chair. I had to get a toilet extender, um, which is just a higher seat so she didn't have to bend down so far. Oh my gosh. So I took care of her for four weeks here and she had this machine and you put it down. She had to put her leg in it and it bent her leg for her. And every day she we did have like a therapist come in physical therapist and they they would do it and then they'd say okay tomorrow we're going to this number and whatever so um finally got her to the point where she because she was allowed to start walking on it like after two weeks they wanted her on it i couldn't get her to start walking though for about four weeks and i finally i'm like you've got to start moving more in that because she would not and so I finally got her moving more I got her to the point where we could get her home so all she had to do uh, once she could get it she has a split level home once we got her upstairs she was fine because everything's there so she actually just crawled up the stairs <laughs> but she wanted to go home in the worst way and stuff and so I got her home fixed her up with you know I was making her dinners lunch breakfast getting her stuff, doing her laundry, doing, so I was taking care of her again. Mind you, I still ran home with broken arm or broken wrist. <laughs> it was like, oh my God. I just felt like it was, um, I w it was like a hospital here for a while. So finally, um, so I finally got her home. Ray finally got back to work. He was off. I think he finally went back to work when my mom was here because um, he was off for a little over three months with it. And he did real intense physical therapy and everything. It was a real bad break. He still, um, in his ring finger, uh, it was his right hand, of course, and he's right-handed. He still gets trigger finger. <laughs> his finger locks down and he's gotta pull it. Um, and it's, they said it's from that break and stuff. He could have that fixed too, but he won't. So I remember my mom and my husband were both like, next year's your year, next year's your year. I'm like, okay. So I said, let's just get through this year and get everybody back on the mend and what have you. So we finally did, the year ended, it was great. Um, 2007 comes along and it was early May. And that's when I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> So I just thought I would share that with you while I was driving home. So I am home now and I'm going to go in and start getting ready for get our lunches going and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave my milk in the car because it's 30 degrees outside. It's chilly here. So I'm just going to leave my milk here till we go down to church. Take my water and my, my crosses back in. So... I will see you all. I'll show you my lunch and I'll talk to you all later. Okay, here is lunch today. I'm having, I'm calling these pizza roll-ups. Homemade? Yeah, I, mm -hmm. well, the, the biscuits. Now, I use those little mini biscuits. Feel free to make them all. <clears throat> and then um, <clears throat> I cut up a one-point string cheese into four pieces and put one piece in each one and two pieces of pepperoni. And then we have some of the ragu. It's one point for one quarter cup of the sauce. So obviously Roman is mowing his down and then he's got his soup. So that's lunch today. I'll come back and let you know the points because I do actually have them all in the tracker. I just can't remember what it was.
Good evening. It's um, 20 to 7, Thursday night, and I'm going to close out my day. I don't want my video to get too long, but um, here's where I'm at for today. I feel I had a good day. I started getting a really bad headache this afternoon, so I actually um, sat on the couch, put my feet up, because on both ends of our couch, with the recliners, and I just, I kind of just closed my eyes for 20 minutes. That's all I did. That's all I needed. And um, I felt so much better. I don't know why. I was just getting a really bad headache. So then we had to run to school um, because next year my son is going to take um, high school classes. So he has to go to the high school. So I will take him to high school in the morning, I'll drop him off at the high school. And then how many times can I say high school? <laughs> I'll drop him off there. And then when he's done, he, hopefully he's going to take two classes. He's going to take um, advanced math and advanced science. So when he's done with that, then I'll pick him up and take him out to school. So we have to write a letter tonight. We all have to sign it and stuff. So we have that to do. He's in the shower now. And um, we're also doing, he's, his science project is to do, because normally they do like, um, like science projects. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. Last year he did it on what dyes eggs the best. And I, I'm, I, I'm so glad he did that because it was so different than all the other kids. Kids did, you know, what what plants grow best with or without sun and a lot of kids did like what cleaning does better what cleaning solutions do better you know what gets a stain out better it was all it was kind of all repetitive and i said to him what about dying easter eggs <laughs> or eggs it doesn't have to be easter i said what i said there's a lot of good things you can do out there like natural things to dye eggs i'm like why don't we try that the only bad thing is she made him pick just one color to do so we did purple and he did it actually he did we dyed it in beet juice we did purple cabbage um purple kool-aid <laughs> i think there's one other one it was it turned out really cool so she was like um pjas is that what it's called i think she told him next year i want you to do that again and you're going to states with that well, here we are next year and there's no PJAS. I kind of feel like my kid's getting so ripped off. Um, what colors are up there? Blue, purple, green. Yours is up against the wall, Rome. So, um, he's gotten ripped off of so much stuff. Like, he did Challenge 24. It's a math thing and he, he made it, um fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, but they didn't end up going because the whole COVID thing. And then of course they didn't do it this year. Um, and then, you know, he's missing out on like the science stuff and, but you know what? Does it matter? Probably not. So, um, so we have to write this letter tonight. He has to write it, but then we all have to sign it. So we're going to do that. And Oh, I was telling you, he's doing, so she, she's making them do either like a, a slide project on COVID. It's a cone, it's a COVID like, um, there's all these things they have to talk about with the COVID. So he's doing a video Then I'm going to let him upload it on my computer and, um, edit it and add, you know, fun things into it. So so we've been filming that like each night we're doing a little bit of it just to, you know, some of it we've, we've had to redo over and whatever. So, so we're working on that project too. And I like helping him with stuff like that. Um, so here's where I'm at for my day. So my breakfast was five points. My lunch was 15. I just had the pizza bites. Um, that's all I had, but I took the points for everything, the biscuits, the pepperoni, the cheese, and then um, the pizza sauce. So 15, I can bring that down much, oh my, sorry. I can bring that down much lower by making my own dough. 
but I had these biscuits and it was kind of last minute for me running around this morning. So I just thought I'm going to use them, take the points for it. And then my dinner was six because I just had my salad. And then what you didn't see was um, we had leftover sauerkraut from last night. So I had a small bowl of sauerkraut too, and that was zero. So I used 26 of my 33 points. I have seven points left. I will not be using because I, first of all, I'm not eating at night. Secondly, I have to go for blood work tomorrow morning. So I have to fast tonight. I'm allowed to have water and I can take my Synthroid in the morning, but that's all. So, um, so I think that's where I'm at for today. And tomorrow is going to be, I will probably just have my apple, um, apple cinnamon casserole. in the morning and um what okay so i don't know where i was at um i can't remember what i was telling you oh what i'm having tomorrow so i'm gonna have that um thing i made the apple cinnamon casserole i can't remember what it was called i'll have that for breakfast it was very good and then I will have, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to have for lunch. I'm going to try to have something different. Oh, I know what I'm having. Duh. Oh my gosh. I feel like brain fog. I am going to have um, egg salad sandwich for lunch tomorrow because I have eggs in my pressure cooker right now. So egg salad sandwich for lunch. And then we're having grilled cheese and tomato soup for dinner. So it's going to be a totally different eating day for me. So um, here's what I would like to do. I am going to try to eat more at lunch and less at dinner. I don't know if that'll make a difference for anything, but I'm going to try that just because um, my biggest meal is always dinner and then I'm not very active after dinner. So I'm going to try to have my big meal or more points at lunch versus dinner. I don't know. I'm just going to try it. Um, so, so that's it. So that's tomorrow. I will show you what I have, how it turns out and go from there. I don't know why I have this one piece of hair that doesn't want to join the rest of the crowd there. So. I did pull my hair out because I thought maybe that was giving me the headache, which it could have been. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go upload this video, take a shower, look over his letter he types up, and watch my penguins hopefully win again tonight. And that's it. So have a great Thursday, and I'll see you all tomorrow. It'll be Friday already. I don't know how time. It's just flying and I hate it. So have a good night.